One latte, 485, plus tax, plus tip. Six dollars added to my production cost. My accountant might ask, did I really need this latte? <laughs> hey Peter, by crunching numbers and analyzing data, accountants help business owners make better decisions. But what about when the accountant is the business owner? Let's see what a CPA practice is worth. Hi, I'm Bharat Kenodia. I'm a professional appraiser and I'm here to share my tricks of the trade so you can use them to your advantage. First, let's talk about industry trends. There are over 50,000 CPA firms in America. Over 50% of them are owned by baby boomers. 90% of the 50,000 firms have fewer than 10 employees and majority of them are owned and operated by a single accountant. With the rise of convenient software like TurboTax, as well as outsourcing, many older accounting professionals see the competition getting fierce, margins dropping, and are getting ready to sell. So if CPA practice owners are ready to retire and looking to sell, what are their potential buyers looking for? Buyers are looking for three things when buying a CPA practice. Number one, recurring revenue. Whoever buys your business buys your clients too. One time or ad hoc revenue is worth almost nothing in this business. If you have clients who depend on you year after year for their accounting and taxes, that is very appealing to a potential buyer. Number two, location. Practices in urban areas have access to more people. More people means more potential clients. More potential clients means higher billing rates. Cha-ching. Number three, technology. Practices that have embraced technology in order to streamline operations and service clients are easier to integrate into a potential buyer's current practice, which makes them very attractive targets for acquisition. Say you have all these factors in the bag. You have been running an efficient and productive accounting practice. Good for you. Let's see what you can expect in terms of numbers when you go to sell. CPA practices used to sell for two times their annual revenue in the 90s when big box companies like American Express, CBiz, H&R Block were buying them left and right. Now, with the do-it-yourself software and outsourcing, that multiple has almost halved. Rule of thumb. Keep in mind that rule of thumb will give you a good starting point for negotiations and planning. If you are looking for a full analysis or a business broker, comment below and I will refer you to an expert near you. Accounting practices can sell anywhere between 1.4x and 0.9x on annual revenue. No, thank you. Average about 1.25x. So say if you're running a million dollar practice, you can expect anywhere between 1.4 million and 900,000 for the practice. Right here about 1.25 million. That's the average. So what makes a practice a $900,000 practice or a $1.4 million practice? And there are three factors. One is location. Two is technology. And three are clients. If your practice is located in a rural area versus an urban area, if your practice has manual processes versus high technology integration, and if your clients are older versus if your clients are younger. If you're running a practice in an urban area with high technology integration with younger clients, you're closer to 1.4 million. If you're running a practice that's in a rural area with manual processes and older clientele, 
you'll likely be closer to 900,000. You should also consider upfront payment. Generally, the higher the demand for upfront payment, the lower the selling price. One last tip, can a bus run smoothly with a new driver or will the bus steer off course? If the clients are loyal to the current partner or owner than the brand, how will the new buyer benefit from the acquisition? Practices where clients follow the brand than the partner are worth their weight in gold for a new buyer. They say an accountant is someone who knows the cost of everything and the value of nothing. That's what I'm there for. I hope this helps you understand how to value a CPA practice. I love being an appraiser. Instead of factories or buildings or businesses, I see building blocks made of money. What do you see? Thank you for watching.